guys, Moz here from Moz6510 Models. We are a channel dedicated to help you become a better scale modeler. Tonight, we're going back to 2005 when Hella released this VAB 4x4. VAB in French is Véhicule de Levant Blondet. I think that's how you say it. Véhicule de Levant Blondet. That's how they say it. But in English, it's an armoured personnel carrier. They were built by Renault, and you can see that on the box there. It has the Renault actually on the front there. And I think they were just basically used for the French army. This kit originally was manufactured in 2005 by Heller. They released it again in 2005 as a model set where you get your brushes, your glue and your paint. They did that again, but with a new scheme in 2009. They then reboxed it 2013 and also in 2017. Hella are still producing this kit, but you can buy them mostly as a set. So they come with everything you need to build it. You could say like a starter set from Airfix, but it's, it's a rare one. This is one of the original ones that were actually released in 2005. Hence, no paint, no glue and no brushes. So looking in the box, sorry, looking at the box, not a lot really. It just tells you the paints that you need, 35, 53, 93 and 119. I don't really know which paint manufacturer they're saying there, but should we just put down this humble? We'll have a look in a minute and just see what they are. Um, 39 pieces. The size of it is 8.3 centimetres by 2.9 centimetres by 3.5 centimetres. I know it says millimetres there, but, you know, 83 millimetres, you know. So uh, it's a 172 scale. Um, the number of the kit is 79898. Okay. And... The latest version of this kit, the number's 56898. But yeah, 79898. Or if you bought it in the last 12 months and it's the later model set, it's a 56898. All right. So let's have a look inside the box. As per normal, hello. You have... Um, two sprues the body a decal sheet there it's an esky one that's not the original then i think that says esky on there let's have a look at that one i don't know why that one's in the box um there's the small decals there there's only um five that you need five decals and a set of instructions. So first off, let's look at the instructions. It's, it looks like just one sheet of paper and you open it up and obviously you could look at it as a book. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts to build in this. So. On the top here, you have a call out of the of the sprues. Um, a, B, your clear plastic, and um, I suppose that's your top of the. So just looking here, thirty three nor mat and one one nine. So yeah, they're using Humbro colours here, which is obvious really for two thousand and five. Yeah, I put yeah, so they're using humble colours. Matte black's thirty-three. Matte la, matte light earth is a hundred and nineteen in humble. So you start off with the belly of the beast there, straight through. Um putting in all I think that's like axles, um, some little bits on here. I have no idea what this is, by the way. I don't know much about armoured people pers uh, armoured personal carriers so we're just going to go through so there's your axle there or yeah so there's your axle there together number eight so it must be one piece um i assume they're parts of the wing or something so there 14 or 15 um 
more panels to go on on the top this is the top now of the carrier i assume the glass fits inside there some way there it is there it goes up inside you've got your flaps gun and a small turret i believe and again some more panels there and there's i think actually a glass there that goes in underneath open up Uh, you join the two together, put your back in where the doors are. There's some little glass to go inside the doors at the back. And then finally, you push the wheels together, glue them in and paint them again, matte black. And then do not, this says here, do not stick them in. So I presume that you can actually, they're movable axles on this one. And number seven is your call outs for where your decals go. Like I said before, you've got your number is a number five, number one, number two, number three, number four. So you've got your two front, which is your numbers and your number plate. In the back, numbers and number plate, and then you've got your your stripes down the side. And then it, you could actually cut this out and use this, so you can put some um, ammo, um, some camo on it. All right. So not much there in the instructions. Let's move on to the actual plastic to be fair as this is a 2005 release no flash nice detail there i thought these were all separate i, I see now that they're actually molded in i thought these were you know these were panels that you would you glue in but obviously not quite quite shallow there it doesn't feel rough really but yeah, there is enough detail there, so you get your Tamiya panel line in there, it'll be fine. Nice little uh, bit there. That would have been nice if they didn't mow the this, this shovel in that you actually put. Oops, if I get the get the thing to. There you go. It'd be nice if that you could have had that as a separate piece so you could um, paint it a bit better. Turning it around. Yeah, some more detail there. See, all this, you know, you could, in theory, have this all separate and glue it on yourself after painting it. To give it a little bit more effect, if you know what I mean. Because to be fair, when you're when you're painting this, you're going to end up painting on top of this, and it's easier to paint this when it's off the vehicle. Same with the spade, you know. That's just uh, you know, just observation there. So there's the top of the APC. Um, this looks like there's the back door. Some nice detail on the back door there. Um, and there's the turret there for the the weapon. And there's some little pieces there, which I presume are panels there and there. And anything else you need. So there's the second sprue. Do the glass later. And then you've got the belly of the beast there in the middle there. Some bits of detail there. As I said, there's, there's, there's no cleanup needed on this kit. At, you know, if you bought it in 2005, there'd be no cleanup. What it's like now, I don't know. See, so one piece there for the axle and the prop in the middle because it is four by four yeah i can see why they did that you know sometimes you get like you, this this could be made up of eight pieces each if you know what i mean um you know two shocks two discs um you know some sort of uh disc pad there or something you know a caliper or something but no it's all in one piece so it's quite easy to build this one but then again it's only 172 isn't it it's i'm think sure sometimes when i do these kits i think 135 and it's not it's 172 and it's not even you know it's a bit better than 176 it'd be even smaller and the wheels yeah very very you've got some nice detail there on the edge i think you can see that so so you've got some nice bit of nice bit of tread there so you can look at and there's the inside, and I think if you put them together, I think you're going to end up with quite a nice bit of kit. There's a bit more there. So I thought that was um, the uh, the diff there. It might be the diff. It could even be the diff there. Yeah. And there's some parts there which I presume goes, which are the the sides, the side bits. I don't know what they are, to be honest. But yeah, it's another kit from Hella. Uh, it's a basic one, but I think you can do a lot with this. If you were doing a diorama and you want to do something Afghani style for the um the, the is it Afghan Afghani Afghanistan war, you can do that quite well. And there's some glass here. And um, for, uh, you won't see this, I don't think, but there are 
push up. I think that's all you see. You, you might need to get, put this in a bit of clear or some, you know, some sort of varnish, make them look like gloss, the older. But yeah, it would look, look really good. So there you are. There's, there's the plastic sprues of the Hella kit. Just very quickly, ignore that you do not get these in that kit. This is from an Esky kit. I actually bought the kit secondhand. I bought a job lot of them, and um, this was in the box for some reason. So ignore that decal. So just a very, very quick history, because I don't want to go too much into this. Um, this uh, VAB was a support vehicle designed by Renault of France. It entered service in 1976 and about 5,000 were produced. And in 2019, it is the standard APC of the French army and it has been exported to 15 countries. It saw combat in Africa, Asia and Europe. It was originally designed as a wheeled troop transporter complementing the tracked AMX 10P. The specification for the project called for an NBC proof amphibious. It's either pr proportioning water by its wheels or it's got twin water jets on this one. Light armoured vehicles to provide infantry with basic protection against shrapnel and light infantry weapons. The features were dictated by its possible usage in the event of an all out conventional war breaking out against the Warsaw Pact. In particular, the amphibious capabilities were needed to bridge the rivers in eastern France and in Germany. The machine gun on the VAB is an M2HB 12.7mm machine gun and in the open turret. The light version sports the AA-52 7.5mm machine gun in a similar arrangement. The vehicle weighs 13.8 tonnes and it carries 10 passengers with two crew one machine gun armament on there which i've already mentioned and the engine is a renault midr 062045 which produces 320 horsepower and that's it that's all i got on this vehicle i'm afraid i don't really know much about this vehicle but there you go there's a kit for you if you've built this kit put it in the comments below i'd like to know what your thoughts are on hella and this vab 4x4 again thanks for watching if you like the video click like if you've not subscribed but like to subscribe please subscribe and any comments any questions put them in the comments below thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video cheers Oh,